Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're doing well. We are sort of live, not live, but we're at the trailer. We're doing a video at the trailer. Um, I actually have a couple days off in a row, so I needed to get a video up for you amazing people. So I brought my stuff here. So I hope you enjoy my trailer mug. Look at that. It's got Swarovski crystals on it. What else would Sherry have? <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed my uh, second attempt at my deconstructed um, Dutch pour. I am, I'm going to figure it out, but I'm going to do that on my own. I tried a couple times <laughs> on camera, so hopefully I can maybe play around with it and get it a little better. Love the colors again, and... I don't know what it's drying like because I'm not at home. So on Sunday, I'll let you see what it looks like dried. So I've been playing around. Um, if you remember when I did my coasters, um, the Peacock coasters, I poured 10. So today we're going to do the other halves of the coasters that I poured. Now I'm going to give you a quick little sneaky peeky at Sunday's video because I'm very excited. I figured out how to cut my teacups in half. Oh my goodness. So, Sunday's video has resin, glass, glitter, and teacups. So, I'm gonna give you a little sneaky. So this is what I'm thinking. Teacups on my board. So, that's a little sneak peek, and hopefully I'll have it done for Sunday. So with that being said, my amazing people, I'm going to bring you down and we're going to get right into this. I'll see you guys in just a second. I always lose my button, guys. <laughs> Hello, I am all prepped. We are ready to go. I'm just going to go through a couple little things. I have been playing around. This is probably going to be an upcoming video. Um, I did this coaster. It was supposed to be a cityscape and I used black, I don't know if you can see on this side, black with glitter for the stars. So I didn't like how that turned out. I don't know if you can see on the bottom where the, um, the coaster itself has gone upward so you get that bottom rung. But anyways, so I had these and I was playing around with these. I think it looks pretty in here. Now these aren't stuck on here yet. So I think I might do two of these coasters like this. So that'll be another video. And I think that's where I'm gonna cover up my lovely fly in my coaster, which is too humorous. I get back to the trailer and there's just as many flies here. So I don't know if it is me. You know how they say flies stick to, I won't say the word, but anyways, I thought that was funny. But um, yeah, these I'm just using, these are dollar store mirrored tiles. They're actual glass. So yeah, so that'll be maybe next week's video. So I'm excited to do that. And I'm just gonna show you um, with the relief this is the stuff that I'm going to use today. This is the, my eyes will allow me to read this. I should know this off by heart. It's Pebio. It is Vitreo, B-I-T-R-E-A 160. And it is a relief liner. I'm hoping it's focusing. It's kind of hard. Anyways, you can get different colors. So I have it in copper. I have it in pearl, and I also have it in black. So I brought those just to kind of show you. And yeah, so you can do any kind of color. So what we're doing today is I went to Michael's. I bought some washi tape. Is that how they pronounce it? Washi tape? And the kit that I bought comes in all of these amazing colors and they come in different widths. Now this was $17. Please, please, please use your coupons, guys. So this is the amazing colors it comes in. 
So, and I love the idea. It was embossed with the golds, and these two are not. So with this colors, there's this one. So I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to do a strip right down the center. And maybe come through with the thinner one and maybe do a strip this way or something like that. I'm going to take my relief pen and draw lines around it. And then we're going to get into some glitters to put in it. And I wasn't sure. I wanted bright colors because this is darker. So I thought on this one we could do some different colors of glitters. We may even try the mirror mirror on that. And then this one, being it's darker, I could do the darker glitters that I have. So, all right. So we're going to get at it. I got driving all the way here to my trailer and I opted, I'm in the car and I'm thinking last time I came, I lost, I forgot the batteries to my, um, I have an X-Acto knife kit. So what I'm going to do before I start chit-chatting, just verbalist chit-chatting, I'm going to show you what you do with this washi tape. So again, this is another, um, inspiration from Leadia from um, her channel so what you do is you take it you get as close as you can and I gotta bring it down a little bit guys because my eyeballs aren't the best and take your exacto knife and it doesn't matter if you scratch your coaster because it just to make sure you don't scratch your mold because it is going to um, there, perfect. There, see, it's kind of cut. It might be a little bit off, but it's in there. This is weird, I'm sitting. I don't normally sit when I do my videos. And we're just gonna get this. So yes, yeah, so I got halfway here. I got maybe five minutes from my house. All right. Do you see where I've missed a little bit of the corner? That can be rectified with the relief, okay? I'm not too worried. Now what I'm going to do is because I don't want it to be a complete straight line, I'm just going to come around here with my X-Acto knife and just kind of jag it up a little bit. Just make it like a little bit of a Just kind of like a wave and we'll see if this comes up my daughter and I got our nails done and oh my goodness I can't do nothing there so you don't want it to be just a complete straight line so that's kind of cool and maybe what I'll do is come a little bit more on this side cut off where I missed and go opposite the wave that you've done on the other side perfect and I got looking, I've never used washi tape before, and I got looking and it's like, oh my goodness, there's so many pretty ones out there. So there you go. So it's not a complete straight line. So I'm going to come across and we're going to do it on all of them. And I might <clears throat> angle it up, do a little bit of a different angle. Now, I don't know if you can see, I think it's just the way the coasters go. There's a little bit of a funky little bit in the middle where it all settles when you're doing it. So I'm going to cover that up. And you rub it down. Perfecto. 
I'm just gonna get in this side with the exacto knife. I'm just gonna try and get it the right way. Oh my goodness, Sherry. I love these coaster molds. But in this sense, it's hard to get into the little grooves to get all that little... No, I want to get that off, so I'm going to have to pull this away. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna pick it up and pull it off. There we go. Actually, that went right into the ridge. Cool. All right, let's get this one. Sorry. Rub there. Do the same thing. And it's kind of nice. They're, they're going to be the same but different, if that makes sense. Because you're not going to do them all the same. And because these have been sitting around for a week, I actually give them a good little bit of a wash. So that when you go to put everything on, it's just now it's got my fingerprints all over it, but there we go. So it's not a, just a clean old lead edge. And I bought some fly strips. I was at the dollar store yesterday, so I will be taking those home. Because I tell you, you will not be having any more deaths. Of oh, oh, that's pretty on there. I want to get a little bit of that blue color, too. Now this color is nice. This is the um, amethyst, but it's, I don't know if you can see it, it's transparent. I can see through it. So I'm hoping this turns out with it. So we're gonna get into the corners. I know you probably are not seeing this as good as you should be. because it's all wrinkled. Cut this side first and then we'll the start of our little wave. Oh, it's stuck to my finger. Oh, okay, let's get this one down. Perfect. And then we'll do that little wave. I'm doing the fly dance. There's a fly on my back. Oh my goodness. I wore a glass of water yesterday. I was joking with my hubby. I said to him, he was complaining. He's coming inside because the flies were bugging him outside. And I said, well, that's because flies stick to you know, and he threw his little, I'm going to go this way because that's going to start to rip. He threw his glass of water at me. Mm, too funny. It felt good though because it was warm out yesterday. 
Alright, and we're gonna come right out there, make sure to cut that. There we go. Perfect. And like I said, the little imperfections in the corners, you can get that with um, glitters or... Oh, I like that blue in there. You can get them with glitters and you can get them with the that relief pen if you're mixing it up in the ends. Yeah, this is why I like showing everything because everything not is perfect. There we go. And we're gonna do the little squiggly line. Just gotta make sure that the blade's hard to tell whether I'm got it on the right side or not. There we go. There we go. Done. Woohoo! Now I'm so tempted to put like a little piece going this way, but I'm going to leave it at that. And this is how you play around. Get, pick up my garbage so it's not sticking to me. I have so much stuff on my little table. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna put my washi tape back in here so we can be organized and I can, but yeah, this is a cute little set. Whoops, oops. Yeah, that was quite a few and it was 17, there were six of them. So go check it out at Michael's. All right, I can put my X-Acto knife away so I'm not gonna cut myself because you know, I am a klutz. If you haven't noticed. Alrighty. So I'm gonna get this and we're gonna I'm hoping I haven't practiced any of this. Guys, it takes practice. I got a paper towel here and I'm gonna get it going. doesn't want to work. I'm just going to roll up the end because you want it like a tube of toothpaste. You want to keep it all at the end. But I don't know why it's... Oh, there we go. We had a little clog. So you want to practice a little bit, a couple times. Like that. And then you want to constantly wipe off that nib when you're doing this. Oh my goodness, it flies. Okay, I'm going to just, for now, I'm going to outline where I put these. And you can always come back and do a second line. And my hand shakes as well, guys. That's, I'm tr you have to, I'm just trying to keep it on the table. And right to the end. 
come back and do a little bit of a thicker. There we go. And wipe it off. And it's kind of good to do it all in one quick. Do you notice this sign is better than that line? And that's all the learning curves. Now, I want to make some um, like lightning strikes off and then in the middle we'll put glitter. So we'll figure out, we'll put one here. And we'll do And there's no rhyme or reason to where I'm going. I'm just kind of playing. So I can put glitter in, in this area, right? Why did I dab that in there? But that's all right, we're gonna put glitter in there, so that's fine. And then maybe what I'll do is come and mimic it on this side. Perfect. And then we'll do one and one. We'll start in the center. And And that one's going this way. What if we put it this way? And I want the line to be thick, so I'm squeezing a little harder than I did with the other one. And we're going to come this way. Perfect. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty. I'll put glitters in, maybe even in here, maybe here. I don't know, we'll play with around with that. So we're gonna keep proceeding on. We'll do a light one here now. board moved. And the other side. And with this one, I'm finding, um, I'm lifting it up off of the, um, the other one, I was right on it and doing this, right? This one, I've got it up a little bit and you're getting a nice raised pieces here. So, we 
where will we go with this one? Let's go. Let's start here. Maybe we'll do that whole chunk with glitter. Do something different on each one. And then we'll make that one over here. And then this way we'll do a split like that. I don't know, do I leave it like that? And then we'll put lots of glitter in these areas and then leave those areas. Okay, and then we'll do the other one. I might come back and change that, we'll see. I'm gonna wipe this off. And I'm gonna... There we go. Perfect. And because here is where I'm just going to put a little bit of the gold on the end because that's where I was missing it at the very tip. I just kind of, I don't know if you can see that, I just kind of put some of the gold in there. This one. We'll go this pattern with this one, and I'll do another pattern like that on that. So they kind of m match, but they're different. And then this way we'll go. On this way. Opposite end. Perfect. And then we'll go well and you see how the pressure is different how I got a big blob here so we're gonna try and even it out maybe I don't know and then we'll go Mm, this way. I went back side. Let's go on this side. Kind of push it into the corner if you can. There we go. I'd love to try this with the copper of the um, relief pen because I think it'd be cool. It's not a pen, but 
And then I was at Michael's and found um, decorative puffy paint, dimensional paint they were calling it, in where they sell um, the Recollections glitter and stuff. And they had it in there and I'm like, oh. So I bought them. So we may try this aspect. Like I said, I've been wanting to do stained glass with resin. So this is why I've had all these. So this has been in my brain for a long time. It's not like this is new. And then I came across Leah Dia's channel and went, oh my goodness, that's kind of what I was in my head trying to do. So it's kind of cool. All right, let's get this line down the center. And then we're almost at the good part, the glitter time. Oh, this is so hard because I can almost get one full line without stopping. There we go. You know what guys even if you didn't cut this tape wiggly if you made your lines thick enough you could get the wiggly aspect because they almost look straight to be honest <laughs> now that I'm looking at them and this one here has a little bit of a gap at the end like the other one did all right so I'm gonna try to Get this on there. There. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to give you a, a little show. See? It doesn't have to be perfect. This is the resin. You're going to have so many things going on with it. So it's kind of neat. So we're going to do this type on this one. So we're going to go... Goodness, Sherry. My hand moved. And then we'll go in this direction here. And then this direction here. Oops. Perfect. Now I'm going to let these dry so that we can put our glitters in. So I think they'll be kind of pretty. I don't know if I should. Yeah, we'll leave it like that because I, I think I'm going to like, we'll put glitter in here and here and here and here and leave these two open. We'll see. So with that, I'm going to love you, leave you, and we'll let it dry. And then we come back. We're going to get into the good stuff. I might even use this mirror mirror in some of them. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. These are dry. So I'm picking out my glitters. Um. This is what I forgot. I got 10 minutes from my house and I went, oh my goodness. So I had to go back home and get this. So this is what I'm using. It is um, Deco Art Americana. It is DuraClear Gloss Varnish. You can use Mod Podge, Mod Podge. 
You can use the liquid gloss that I use for my bling blings. You can also use probably Elmer's glue if it dries clear. So I'm going to put a dollop in here on each one because we're going to mix our glitters. I have opted to use, I think, Breakfast at Tiffany's would be pretty. I This is from Laura's Art Corner, Breakfast at Tiffany's. We're going to mix up some of the Magenta Sparkle. We're going to mix up, I hope I haven't some of this, my Opulence Olympic Gold Oh my goodness, Sherry. Olympic gold medal. That is amazing glitter. And this is a Lorez glitter. This one is deep purple. So these are the glitters that I have. And if I don't have enough of this opulence gold, I have some of this um, gold spark also from Lorez. All right. So I'm going to slip these in the middle so we can mix these up. I have some sticks and oh, let's get going. I'm going to use the oh my gosh side and actually let me grab. I have these lovely that I was sent from my Australian friend. So we're going to scoop these out. One. And I'm going to do two scoops of each. Two scoops of Kellogg's Raisin Bran, is that what? Alright, I'm going to wipe it off so I can put it in the other glitters. We're going to stir it up, make sure that there's... And again, you want, you do not want it to be, you want it thick but not a paste. You want it to be able to... Um, level itself out. See, to me that's good. Okay, so that's that. I'll set that over here. Now we're going to use the breakfast at Tiffany's. Again, two scoops. I think two scoops is good. All right, get another stir stick. Sorry, you're going to bring it up to me so I can get in the corners. And that might not be enough for my four coasters. So let me just put a little bit more of this. A little bit more in here because that's not quite enough there. A little dollop there. And then we will... Stir it up and see, because I did use the two scoops there, so that should be good. Perfect. So that was breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, I hope I have enough of this opulence gold, Olympic gold. Let's just, I'm just going to pour it out. Because this gold is stunning. I don't know if you can see that. That is amazing. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Alright, and then we are going to use this um, deep purple. That's amazing. That's from Lorez. And again, go check out my two amazing, beautiful ladies. My Canadian rep is um, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada and the wonderful and the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner in the States. So check out both those ladies because they are amazing. 
And all of my amazing glitters are from Laura's Art Corner. So, check them out. All right, I'm gonna make sure I mix this all in. And I'm going to use my paintbrush today, just cause I wanna make sure this stuff is gonna last because I don't have a whole lot. All right, here we go. I have these dollar store brushes. We're gonna play around with those. I love using the dollar store brushes for this type of application because that way I'm not ruining my, my actual brushes. This one it says is a 20 zero. So these are liners, round brushes. So, all right. Woo! Now the fun part. Okay, let's do the light ones first. So I'm gonna put that up there. We're gonna actually go move them. My glitters on this side. You can, here, let me, I wonder if you can, if I'll do it this way and you can see everything. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out my little table. Yeah, there we go, okay. So we're gonna put the glitters here, so you can see. And we're gonna do the light ones first. Get organized. Sorry, and I keep forgetting you're literally on my table that I keep hitting, and I hope you're not getting too jiggled. There we go. All right, where do we start? Okay, dark purple on here. So we're just gonna mix it up and we're gonna put it in get it in all those little grooves this is nice because it's gotten a nice thick Barrier. I didn't do that on my peacock one, so we'll have to remember that for next time. Perfect. So I'm going to do purple there. We've got four colors and I got four spots, so we'll do a purple here. And the dark purple is pretty on this color because it, it, it'll show a little better, I think, than on the other one. This technique is endless, guys. I'm so excited. Because there's so many things you can do. Make little swirly cues with this. It's endless. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna wipe what I can. I'm gonna try and wipe what I can in here. And then I'm gonna wipe off mine and then go into another color. Okay, we're gonna do gold on. Cat, fight outside. Oh, we got this cute little cat that wants to come into play, but my cats aren't agreeing with it, so. All right, we will do this one gold. goodness it is so cute though the little guy I don't know if it's a stray or if it's somebody else here in the park but he comes in periodically I'm saying he but it comes in it was in here last night I think it's hungry 
so I keep trying to feed it. But my cats aren't having anything to do with it. So there's that one. And I'm going to put the gold on this side here. Big one. Too funny, I'm a bad wife. My husband was trying to get up and I'm like, nope, you're staying in bed for another 20 minutes till I finish. So he's watching TV in his bed in the bedroom. <laughs> Alright, let's get this here. Awesome. This is a oh, gold. This one and the silver opulence from Laura's Art Corner is like amazing. I may have to mix more of the gold up for the purple. All right, let's just get this. And it's got little blotches and it does level out. Like if you don't make it too pasty. There we go. Let me just get. We will do this one. The magenta sparkle. We'll do that in here. Now it goes a long way because you have to remember to push it right to the corners. Awesome. And then we will do the big pink here and then we'll do this one we will do the blue. Let's get a good scoop on here and then we can spread it out. Once this is done, we'll have a change of venue and I will put my resin on when I get home. But I just thought this would be, it'll be able to be dry. For my step three, they're beautiful, but they're, it's a time consuming, right? Because you got to do all these little steps, but they're beautiful in the end. Gonna flip it around so I can get into the corner up here. And again, Sherry's concentrating, she's quiet. Push it right into the edges, right into all those little nooks and crannies. Okay. I want that. Oh, I've got nothing here to. Oh, I got my little tools. I brought my little tools. Amazon, amazing. Just to wipe off the glitter off of the gold. Because you want to kind of keep that. And I had some here. Perfect. 
you could use this as well to spread around so that I think that looks good. I'm going to wipe off this and we will get into the breakfast at Tiffany's. It is funny, it's almost the color of my nails. All right. because I moved it around and you can fast forward buddies guys if you want because you know it is what it is and if you get the gist of what I'm doing that's fine I'll flip it so I can get in here and this one I'm going to have to make more of. I didn't even have enough for one. Hoping it'll it should level out. I'm gonna do this one and then I will have to make some more of this one. This way, guys. Sorry, just need to get it in there without making too much of a mess. There we go. I'm gonna a couple of empty spots. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so those two are done. They look pretty. I think the colors are good together. And. We might as well just get right at this one. Let's get, we'll put the green in this little one because I don't have much left. And I think it'll be just enough for in here. Awesome. I'm going to do this right now just so that we can get the other one done. And where is it? Where is it? Breakfast Tiffany's. Mix it up real quick. Same process as I did before. I'm just pouring because I'm want to get sorry, and you're off a little bit. I just wanted to get a little bit more in there. Now we will put that in. <sighs> Let's go over here. And we'll spread it out. Sorry, hope that's not in your way. Gonna 
gonna flip it this way so I can get into this corner. And being I got more here, I can see my purple behind here. I'm just going to put, because this is a little bit thicker, I'm going to put more on this one. Just to cover up so you don't see. here and we'll put that in here, cover it all up. Perfect. All right, we are done with breakfast at Tiffany's. Speaking of breakfast, I was cooking bacon. Probably this what woke my husband up. Okay, so we'll just go there. Um, let's do the gold. We will do gold here. I'm just going to flip it around so I can get at the other side. into the corners, right down to the tip. Okay, and then we will do this one gold. I don't want the pinks to, yeah, I guess. I'm just gonna scoop up what I can off of this. This is so pretty. This gold. Flip it this way. So I can get in there. Try and scoop out all I can. Do a little more. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm sorry. Trials and errors, eh? A little bit more. And you can see. A little bit more. I'm just. Oh, Lord, left and being bold and pulling that out. That, I have too much glitter. You don't want it that thick. So now I gotta pour a little bit more of this in there. Because you want it to level out. So if it's too thick, it won't level out. So there we go. We'll see, hopefully this will be good enough.
and on this darker you want to make sure it gets completely covered Perfect. Let me just make sure in here. Make put a little more in this one. Just been I got a lot left. Get it right up in the corners. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna wipe off that so we're done with the gold. Get the magenta and we'll do the little one first. Let's get this one. These colors are so pretty. Just want to get right up into the corner. Awesome. go and and I'm gonna 100% need more again all right sorry guys and here let's just even it's pink magenta oh come on it's right there I just don't want a whole bunch to come out there we go perfect let's get this in here Perfect. I just want to peek at this. I'm going to put more on this one here because it is blotchy still and I have a little bit left. There, I think that's good. Bring this back down and a little bit more because I can see the base color through on this one. So I want to 
that's gross. I'm getting, look at this, I got glitter all over my arms. <laughs> Perfect, okay. Done with magenta, and now we've got the purple left. <laughs> all right, let's do the little one first. Yeah, this purple one might have been a miss on the dark, but it's all right. I'm flip it so I can get into this corner. so I can get there. Perfect. <sighs> Let's see, do we have enough to put all this in there? And this one, it won't matter because it, it doesn't show through. It's the same color. As long as there's a little bit of glitter all there, that this one will be good. I won't have to mix another batch up this one. Now I'm just going to put this here so I can get it to the edges. my little awesome done perfect let me just get this wiped off and let me get my little tool out because there's a little bit on here here. Oh. oh, that's why. I'm like, what am I doing? It's not quite dried yet. That is that. So I'm going to bring them up and show them to you because I think they're going to be pretty. Let me just get my stuff together. Bring this down. I'll bring it to you. Amazing. Amazing. Now we're going to let these dry. Last one. There we go. And then tomorrow, well, by the end of the day, we'll put some um, resin on top and we will be done. All right, guys, we'll let this dry and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we're back. These are all dry. They look amazing i am impressed now it's time to get our resin on so i have mixed up eight ounces of resin these coasters hold a little more than two ounces each so i figured i'd do eight ounces and that way i'm not shorting myself and if i have extra then i'm going to proceed and use it in one of my other molds and we are going to do my little plug. Today is our crystal resin, two-part epoxy. It's linked in my description box. And I have used my um, mask while using mixing up my resin. I have my Dyson Air Purifier on, and I have me gloves, me gloves. So I want you guys to remember to please use your PPE. I'm choosing to take it off so I can chit chat with you. So back to the show. I'm going to take my one ounce, my one ounce chocolate, and I'm going to put, um, I love these sticks. Uh, they're also from Crystal Resin. Um, one in each. 
and we will see where we go from there. Pretty sure I'm going to need more than one. Mm -hmm. So I've come back home from my trailer. As you can see, my backdrop has changed. Oh, it's always hard to come back after being there. Okay, I'm gonna pour a little more in each. Don't wanna go too hard too fast because I don't want it to overflow. These coasters take quite a bit of resin, so that's kind of, they're substantial. Okay. Just looking on it from the side, this guy needs a little more. So I'm just going to put a little bit more in each just to bring it up to level. Boop. I think these are going to be pretty. That's crazy. It took it all. Let's just scrape it all out. Get all that goodness. You don't want to waste any. So I'm just going to put a little bit in each more. That's that. Let me just get my hands wiped up. And let's get my 99% alcohol. I get it at Costco. That's to burst the bubbles. Let's see them go in. I'm going to give it a minute or two. I'm going to wipe off the little bit that drips on here because it saves my plastic. All right. I might give it, not my torch, do not put the torch on it after this. Please do not, because you will start a fire. Believe you me, I have learned the hard way. I'm just going to use my heat gun and just warm it up a little bit. go my peeps we're gonna leave this and I'm going to come back tomorrow morning and we will do the big reveal with that I'll see you guys in a little bit hello we are back these are dry I'm excited look at that take them out there we 
I like them. They turned out really nice. Now these are a little transparent, but that's fine. Look at that. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I've got my 18 karat gold leafing pen by Krylon. And we're going to do the edges. I'm just going to get it going. And you just press it down, up and down. So, we're just going to go around the edge, like so. Nice and quick. Oh, there, get that. Perfect. I think it just finishes it off beautifully. All right. Now with this, there's a little, just a tad li little bit of a lip, which makes it easy to do it, the haft on the top. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little lip, not a big one, which is nice because it holds the, the pen. And I'm going to do the sides but we have to wait for this to dry. So I'm just going to do the top for you. And then I'm going to carry on after we're done and do the sides. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. There we go, last one. Yeah, I think they turned out pretty nice. I got paranoid after I put the the resin on because I've never worked with the washi tape before and actually it's fine. I was worried about it not having anything on it like most paper you need to seal it but it seems to have been fine.
There we go. So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to proceed with um, doing the sides of these afterwards just to finish up the sides, but I'm going to wait till the top is dry. So there you go, guys. These are a different, something different, right? So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. Hit that bell for notifications. And double check, even if you think you are the bell's on, sometimes it comes off. So double check. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. And with that, in my description box, I have the links to my Amazon shops. I have the links to my Facebook page. I have the links to Crystal Resin, which is what I used in here today. I have the links to Fundy Molds. I have a discount code in there as well. And I also have the links to um, my two Larez distributors, which is where I've used almost all of these products today. And my Canadian distributor is um, Michelle from Artworks Canada and use my discount code with her at Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M, and my long time, my glitter queen, Laura from Laura's Art Corner is my American distributor for Larez and use my discount code for her. It is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10%. And with that, my friends, my PayPal link is in there and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.